Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica, and this is my channel, Creatively Erica. I do a lot of crafting tutorials, DIY projects, and other small business related videos. So if that's something that you're interested in and you're not already subscribed to me, then I definitely recommend clicking that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any of my content. Or if you're interested in seeing like sneak peeks and like behind the scenes footage of what goes on behind my YouTube channel, then you should also check out my Instagram at creatively.erica or if you're more interested in my small business and following that then you can check out my small businesses Instagram and TikTok at Paint and Gypsy Design. So I am so excited to jump into today's crafting tutorial because I found a really cool Amazon find and I could not wait to share it with you guys. As soon as I saw it I'm like oh my god I need that for myself and I have to show my friends. So today I'm going to be testing out and reviewing some silicone freshy molds that I found on Amazon. So if you're curious to see all the really cool freshies that I got to make out of these silicone molds, then keep watching. All right guys, so before we jump into the video, I just wanted to quickly talk about these molds. I got all of these molds on Amazon. These four came in a pack together for $22. Now I bought a handful of silicone freshy molds before off of Etsy and all of mine range from like 20 to $25. So when I saw this really cool pack, like with actually awesome molds, for only 22 bucks, I could not pass this up. And even like this single one, it was 15 bucks um, just for this one, but the 15 bucks is still cheaper than the 20 or 25 bucks that I would have paid for this off of Etsy. So at the end of the day, I still save money even with just a single one. But overall, I just couldn't wait to show you guys these molds and the freshies that I make with them. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right guys, so for this craft, you're gonna need quite a few things. You're obviously going to need some aroma beads. Now, I already have some that are cured, ready to go. They don't stick to the sides of the jar at all. But just in case this is the first Freshy video that you're watching, I definitely recommend checking out my actual Freshy tutorial where I break it down. I give all my tips and tricks and explain how I make mine. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll have that link pop up right now. But like I said, mine are already cured and ready to go. But if you didn't have beads ready to go, obviously you would just need your aroma beads. For every four ounces of aroma beads, I pour one ounce of fragrance oil. And then you'll also need some mica pigment powder, just a pinch to actually pigment your beads. You will also need some roofing nails to actually make holes in your freshies. And that hole is for some elastic cord to hang your freshie from your rearview mirror. So you're also going to need some type of string or cord to tie to your freshie. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to trim your freshie and to cut the cord. You're also going to need some type of smell proof bag. And then you're going to need your cookie cutters or molds. Now for today's video, we're obviously testing out these silicone molds. So that's what we're going to be using today. Okay, so since I am doing different fragranced beads in each one of these molds, I'm going to have to bake these individually. And I just do that because I don't want cross-contamination. I don't know if it's a thing. I'd just rather be safe than sorry. I just like to bake them individually if I'm doing different scents, you know, just to avoid that, just in case. So I'm gonna start with this cactus mold. And as you can see, it has like this cow print um, pattern in the bottom. So that's really cool. I also didn't mention you're gonna need some type of spoon or something to divvy out your beads into your molds. All right, so we're just gonna put our nail in there. All right guys, so now I'm ready to bake this first freshie. So I have my oven set to 300 degrees. Now with silicone molds, they do take a little bit longer than like, you know, your normal cookie cutter freshies. So I always just set a timer for 10 minutes and then I will just like periodically check on it like every minute or two after that. But typically these silicone mold freshies take about 10 to 15 minutes just depending on, you know, the thickness of the silicone how deep it is and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna start with a timer for 10 minutes and then I'm just going to periodically check on it, but I will ultimately let you know how long each one took me.
And I like to fill mine like all the way to the top, as you guys can see, because these do shrink down a little bit, like once they're melted in the oven. So I just recommend, you know, filling them up. All right, that one was super easy because we just could pour the beads straight from the jar. Now I actually have a double oven. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this one in my bottom one. All right guys, so this one was in for 14 minutes total. And if you haven't seen, you know, another one of my Freshie tutorials, I'll go ahead and show you this little trick that I do um, to check to see if mine are done. I just put my finger right on the beads, and if the beads don't stick to my finger at all, then it's good. But if the beads pull up with your finger, it's not done, put it back in the oven. Now, I put this one in right after that, so we're going to check this one. It should be done. Also, okay, same thing. So no beads coming up. That one's good, too. Now the good thing about the silicone molds is you don't have to wait for them to cool off to just like take them off of the pan and set them somewhere else to cool because I want to get these other ones in the oven so I need my pans. So I just have those setting over there and now we can go put the other molds on our pan and bake those. All right guys, so moving right along. All right guys, so same as before, we're gonna go put this in the oven. This time I'm gonna set my timer for 12 minutes and then we'll check it every minute past that. So again, this one was about 14 minutes. I put this one in right after that one. They're not sticking to my finger. So they're good. So again, I'm just going to put them on the oven to cool. All right guys, so last one. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one has a little bit of glitter mixed in there. And I'm actually gonna add just a tiny bit more on top. I just mix a little bit of glitter in with my beads like before I pour them in and then I just kind of sprinkle some on the top. So this one's ready to go in the oven now. Last one and then we will be done. And the beads are not sticking to my finger, so it's good to go. All right, so I'm going to let this one cool, and then we are going to demold them, trim them, see how the freshies come out, and then we'll decorate them. All right, guys, so all of our freshies are now cool to the touch, so now we are ready to demold these. So I just pull apart from the sides to loosen it. And then I'll just push it on one side. And then you just kind of got to peel it away. Okay, so there's a little bit of um, pigment on this because I did test one before this video. So there was like a little bit of leftover mica on there, but that's fine because we're going to decorate this and we're going to be covering that up. But just to show you guys the detail, something that I think is really cool about most of these silicone molds you can kind of tell when looking at it that the part that's like indented is like glossy compared to the rest of the mold, right? Like you guys clearly see that shine versus like on the actual lipstick, it's almost like a matte finish instead of glossy like in here. And that reflects on the freshy once it's baked. So again, this part is like matte. And then as you can see, this part is shiny. So I think that is so cool. But like I said, we're going to be decorating that, so you're not even going to be able to see that shine once we're done because we are going to be covering that. Now to demold our set of four. Oh, I love that. Like the details in the bottom of that mold. Look how cool. Rip. There he is. Again, we're going to be decorating these. Don't worry. These aren't done done. 
And there's our cow print cactus. And then last but not least, our cross. And this one was plain, but I did add glitter because why not? Okay, so now we are going to take out our roofing nail so that there'll be a hole in our freshie and we can put our elastic cord into to be able to hang them up on our rear view mirror. And then we'll be able to decorate these and they'll be all done. Okay, so I just take a rag and fold it up and lay it on my table and then I like to push the nail on all sides just to kind of loosen it a little bit. And then I just press down on that rag and then you can just pull it right out. So now you can see there's a hole in there that we can put our elastic through. Okay, so now we're gonna trim our freshies real quick. And you don't have to trim your freshie, but I personally hate the way like these jagged edges look and I just think it looks more finished after they're trimmed. So I just have a Walmart bag here to kind of catch what I trim away. So it's less of a cleanup. You might have to pick up a couple strays that fly out, but I just trim the edges to make them like nice and smooth versus like all jaggedy. Again, this is just my personal preference. You don't have to do this. Okay, so there's one. You see how much better it looks now that it's trimmed? Okay, so I like to cut about 10 to 12 inches of string for every freshie. And I just put my two ends together and try to push the knot down towards the end as much as I can and pull the knot tight so there's no way it's gonna come undone. And then when you're ready to put this through our freshie, and then I just pull a little bit to one side like that and then just pull the rest through that loop and voila, there is our freshie. So now it can hang on our rear view mirror like so. And now we're ready to decorate it. So we're just gonna repeat that for all the freshies, obviously. So now I just take my scissors and trim off the little ends here. Just the little pieces that get kind of unraveled when you push the string through and tug at it. Okay, so now we are ready to decorate our freshies. Okay, so we're gonna start with old rip here. Now, some people, they will actually color two different beads to do this. Um, I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna do something else. I personally like to decorate mine mainly with puffy fabric paint, or in this case, I'm gonna be painting rip with this oil-based paint marker. And then just to get a little more precise, I just blotted um, the acrylic marker on this envelope over here. And I'm just using a like fine point paintbrush to just get in those tighter spots where the marker's kind of hard. I know I would make a mess if I tried. And it's actually so easy because like you know exactly where to paint because it's like indented. Okay, and there's our lips. So I'm gonna set this over here to dry with rip. Now I wanna do the cactus with the cowhide. All right, and there's our cowhide cactus, so cute. And now we're gonna do the bull skull. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're gonna let all of our puffy paint dry and then we'll be ready to package these up. I think they came out great. I love the like embossed designs on these because it just makes it so easy to decorate. Honestly, you guys, I think these freshies came out amazing. And like I said before, I think it is so easy to decorate these because the molds have like those little designs in there. Like, you know exactly where to trace. So that just makes it so easy for me anyway. So I really recommend trying these out. And I will be sure to put all of these links in the video description for you guys. Or if you're interested in buying one of these freshies or seeing what other freshies I have in stock, then you can always check out my business's website at paintedgypsydesign.com. But as always, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did like this video, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know which freshie is your favorite. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then I highly recommend clicking that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials, DIY projects, or any other small business related videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.